we're throwing out our old couch. What the heck? This is why we're throwing it out. And Jim's brother and sister-in-law are giving us one of their couches that they don't need anymore. It's, what's it called, a pull-out? Yeah, it's like a pull-out bed, which is cool. But since we only have one bedroom in our condo, it'd be cool, cool for um, like company if they ever slept over. Oh my god, she's gonna try and do this. I have to do it because I'm all of holding the dog. Well, you have to take the What a beast. That's right. Wait to pay off. You're hilarious. You're doing this on your own? Wow. It's the first like couch. Oliver's freaking out. Oliver. He's not going anywhere. No know where that's from if you don't right now that's it we're not getting married come on the easy way tell me what movie that's from right now Lisa if you're watching you'd know come on oh my god guys I'm so sad yes we're not getting married I guess we're not getting married but if a, if a subscriber or somebody comments what movie it's from and they're right yeah. then it's on your behalf and we can get married. Or else, why are you putting the legs back on? So it's easier to move around. Oliver, sit, sit. Good boy, it's the last time you'll be sitting on this couch. It's the last time you'll be sitting on this couch. It's okay. We'll give you another couch to ruin today. <laughs> you can go and pee on that the Christmas. Yeah. He was so anxiety when you were walking away. When you were walking away with, with the couch, he, he had such anxiety. A little sad, no? I'm actually a little sad because this is the first thing that we ever bought. That's true, and the TV was the, the second, second thing. thing. Yeah, I remember the day they delivered these to our to our. We felt uh, so cool. Basement apartment. Yeah. yeah. We felt so cool because it was like the first purchase together as a real couple. People are like, "Why are you, why, why are you being so dumb, getting attached to a couch?" Just a no, couch. it's just a little uh, sentimental thing. Okay, bye, couch. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to have a banana as my pre-breakfast because I'm waiting for the water to boil so I can make tea and oatmeal and I just can't wait. It's over here, Jim. Oh. Oh. Hold on. I, I got something for you. Don't. This is a PG. No, it's a, no, that's a PG. Trust me. It's like this is this is one oh of those God. moments. Da, 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 da. There. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother. Ladies and gentlemen. Don't pee, Bellasaurus. Someone who worked all night and then has to move a couch for us all morning. <laughs> After a 12-hour shift. It was yeah. my pleasure. Oliver. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Oliver. Come here. Bye. So Jim went to go and get rid of our old couch and then return the van that he rented and then he'll come back later with the couch cushions and feet. In the
the meantime, I'm going to do a home workout and then get ready and hopefully he'll be home in time for us to go pick up our wedding bands because they called this week and they said that they were ready and that we could pick them up anytime and I'm really really excited because we didn't get to choose something that was ready-made we told them exactly what we wanted and they were like making it custom for us so that's exciting I get to like see try it on with uh, my engagement ring and make sure that it like matches like the bands kind of like work well together workout done um, this is my favorite I mentioned this before this is my favorite uh, cardio workout because it's low impact no jumping and um, living in a condo it's perfect like you don't need to wear shoes which will make a lot of noise for my neighbors and stuff so it's perfect for me and perfect for like joints and stuff like that 30 minutes I'm sweating buckets like I wipe my face I shouldn't have wiped my face I wet my face but you can tell like my hair is completely soaking wet um, and my shirt is like soaking wet here, my back. Yeah, so that's really, like I love it. I'm gonna leave a link in, uh, of it in the description below. So now I'm gonna shower and then make something to eat for lunch. So I'm making a burrito bowl for lunch. It's just gonna be a simple, quick, thrown together burrito bowl. If, you know, if I had leftover rice, I would add it in. If I had some salsa or sour cream, I would add it in. It just I always make it different based on just what I have in the house at the time. So yeah, this is a whole head of romaine lettuce, like one full romaine lettuce in there. And I started cutting these up. Um, so since I don't have salsa, I'm gonna put a lot of tomatoes just to give it, like just in replace the salsa. It's almost like this is like a cleaner burrito bowl because I have less toppings. I'm not gonna have the sour cream or salsa, which salsa is really healthy, but I figure less sodium this way because it's just more natural. So yeah, like I love burrito bowls, I love sushi bowls because you can just put whatever you have. If I had rice, I'd add that in. I don't, so I won't. So yeah, I'm gonna put that. Um, these are some black beans and this is one can of black beans. Probably gonna put a third of the can for my protein and then just put that in the fridge in a Tupperware and I can have that another time. Um, this is like raw corn. I didn't know you could eat raw corn and it tastes delicious. I didn't know that. I thought corn had to be cooked. I didn't realize that it was just sweet and tender. Mmm. It's almost sweeter when it's not cooked. Now, corn is my favorite. Like, I love how corn is, can be barbecued, boiled, just so many ways. And now I found this way and I love it. Okay. I get this corn from Costco. Oops. It's already cleaned for the most part. Uh, and you just wash it and then you can throw it wherever you want on the barbecue, anywhere. Okay, I'll throw these in after. And now I'm going to make like a quick guacamole. Basically, I'm just gonna smash up some avocado and um, just season it a little bit. So it will act as my dressing. So I'll have guacamole as my dressing and some Frank's Red Hot as my dressing. I don't have any lime, but if I did, I'd use it. I'm just gonna put lemon instead. Ah. Well, there you go, Oliver. You can uh, play with that. Don't like it? Not a cup of tea? These are like perfectly ripe, like we're I guess different people like them different ways. This is like firm. This is perfect when, for my sushi bowls when it's firm but ripe. Like I can't, uh, can't explain what I mean. So I'm just gonna smash this up with a fork. I have a food processor so I can actually like make guacamole so much easier but this is just my lazy way. This is like me just wanting to have a quick lunch and who cares. I have a feeling this vlog is gonna be super long since it's only like, what time is it? It's only like one o'clock. Oh my God. It's only one o'clock. 
and we have, I have so much footage, so much has happened already. So I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of sea salt, and a little bit of garlic powder. Whoa! You can put whatever like you like to taste. Sometimes I add in some ch chili powder, and that gives it a nice little Mexican flavor. But this is good for now. So you can get it as smooth, like, smooth as you like. When you do it in a food processor, it comes completely smooth, uh, which actually would be great for a dressing. But I don't mind this like rough. I like that there's some some pieces in there. So yeah. And yes, I'm eating an entire avocado. The only time I don't eat an, an entire avocado is when I have we only have one left and I have to share with Jim. That's the only time. Mmm, why didn't I taste it first to make sure but luckily, oh wow. Mmm, I'm glad the garlic slipped. And that's it. That's it, guys. Lift up some of these for my Instagram. Instagram. Alrighty. like after my Instagram picture but for the vlog that's gonna be hot like I'm super super excited like how good does this look I think it looks divine oh man goodbye beautiful artwork see you later the next time I make you So creamy. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, my hair is so crazy. This is what happens when you instant frizz, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is what happens when you just when I just shower and like just let it dry like a beast and don't like put any product in it. But who cares? I'm gonna work out again tomorrow. What was the point of styling it? Hi everybody. <laughs> so Jim made it home. Um, so it's 4:05 now, and the jewelry store closes at, at five, five o'clock. We have just we haven't moved. Like we're just in traffic. Like we're just. You're what showing is a bio? bus. That's a bus. Um, we're just but like sitting here in though. traffic, and we're yeah, but we're gonna arrive there like five minutes before they close. So what? Oh God! Now you're gonna speed and stress me out. Evasive maneuvers. Oh my God. Give me a break, I just need to get into the lane. Okay. I'm a safety driver. That's Beautiful. Sparkly. Wow. Thank you. So nice. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, so I'm going to make an order. Those are them, too. Okay. Oh, oh you like? So excited. I want to look at it again. I was so looking at mine, I didn't even really look at yours. So nice. It's exactly like the way we described to them. Looks so good. Do you love it? I do, actually. I've never seen you really wear rings other than when you used to wear your skull rings. Looks so good. I love it! It looks so good on you! Mm -hmm. It's crusty okay, hands. I want to put mine on. I have to, I have to You can't put it there. You have to put it first. They look so good together. I really, really love it. And you know what? This 
so throughout my weight loss this ring started to get so loose that it would like fall off sometimes but now that there's two rings together it's more snug I love it is it in focus because I wasn't being able yeah, to I wasn't able to get it focused I'm so excited I can't wait till I can wear it Wow so now we're gonna go watch a movie and we haven't decided which to watch yet you know we want to watch the um, the new purge we want to watch the the animal the cartoon life of animals the life secret of dogs life, secret life of pets pets um. Coach is all set and ready. You like it, Oliver? You like it, Jen? Very. Yeah. So, I mean, because it's still brown, it doesn't, like, it's not that OCD for me. It's okay. Cozy. So, we're home from the movies now, and it's about 8 p.m. We were confused on what to eat, so we weren't sure if we should go out to eat or order in food. Like we usually do our weekly cheat meal. If you've been following me, you know the drill. But if anyone is new, I usually do a weekly cheat meal like on the date night. So we'll go for dinner and a movie usually and you know, it's either we'll order in pizza or go out for sushi or something like that. But we didn't know what to get today and we're so confused. And so there's one part of me that says, well, if you don't have a specific craving, then is the cheat meal worth it? Just skip it. But another part of me says, no, every time you skip a cheat meal because you think you want to make more progress, you end up going nuts and binging the whole rest of the week, like Monday to Friday or whatever. So I think a cheat meal needs to happen, but we're both just like not making a decision. So Jim got a bacon and mushroom pizza. It looks so good. And Jim's over there eating while I let my panzerotti cool. I got a baked panzerotti. I just tried to, I'm just waiting for it to cool because it's so hot in there. There's roasted red peppers, mushrooms, and cheese. And yeah, you could get fried or baked. So I got the baked. And I think what I'm gonna do, because there's a lot of like empty dough on the two ends, I'm gonna cut off this end and that end and just eat the center uh, that's filled with stuff and hopefully that won't be as bad as eating the entire thing. So, cheat meal, here I come. Okay, I'm taking my first bite. Mm. Oh my God. So flavorful. For just like a veggie pizza, like that's so good. 